Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Woo, it's a little windy here today. Here in, where am I? Uh, Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> you guys, I got a little confused about where I was today. Um, good morning to all of you. Welcome to you to Free Friday. Those of you who are watching on the replay, you are definitely going to want to stick around for this because, you know, we've been getting lots of questions recently about, you know, what is, you know, we've been hearing lots of benefits about turmeric extract, um, but what's the difference between turmeric extract and turmeric essential oil? Are they the same? What's the difference and how do they benefit me? Do I need them both? Do I need one more than the other? Um, we'll stick around because we're going to talk about um, the benefits and the differences and what this all means to you. Isn't this a beautiful background surrounding me here? I'm here with um, the Rolling Revival bus. You can find them on Instagram and um, amazing Buchanan family that we've loved been hanging around out with. And we have um, another family arriving here today, but isn't this beautiful? We're here in the mountains of Asheville, North Carolina. It's a little chilly here today. It was warmer um, yesterday, but it's actually gonna be pretty cold here today. So, um, so say hello, let me know where you're joining in from. Sorry about all the crazy noises that are happening around. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this active today when I was on. So um, say hello. Let me know where you're joining in from. It may get louder. Who knows? It's live. Um, there might be an 18 wheeler that's about to pass behind me. So if so, pause for a minute and I'm going to drink my homemade kombucha while we wait for this to pass by. Hashtag adventures of full-time traveling family life. Um, we are parked here in the parking lot of this beautiful church here. Well, actually, that's not the church. Um, it's kind of tucked away over there. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. Um, but um, we're staying here for the next few days. And um, Who knows what's going to happen here? Okay, by the way, okay, you guys, this isn't a commercial kombucha bottle, but I have been now making my own homemade kombucha, and oh my goodness, this tastes amazing. Is this a good one? Oh my goodness. He's, I'm not going to let him steal this from me. Live test. You're stuck on a video. You can't, if I walk away, you can't do anything. Okay, so if you want to know how to make your own kombucha, very simply and easily. Yeah. And I think one of the keys that I've done, it's a little bit of a dance when you're creating kombucha, but you guys, um, if you want to get hooked off of sodas and hooked onto something that is really healthy and beneficial to your body and that your kids might love too, um, then put in the comments homemade kombucha and we'll talk about, well, maybe I'll show you how I'm doing my own homemade kombucha in the wild orange, okay? While we're traveling. One of the keys is this, I think is what's changing. Um, huge shout out to our friends, Julie and John Falk out in Fairfax, Virginia, who shared this with me. Thank you so much for giving this to me. This is organic jasmine tea. And if you guys, if we had smell -a vision in here, when you open up this loose leaf tea, Oh my goodness, it smells like heaven. So um, I'm using this, um, a little bit of this combined with our organic black tea to make our kombucha and it's amazing. Okay, so let's get on to the topic, okay? Um, now that we've had all of our craziness 
hopefully out of the way. Say hello. Let me know where you're joining in from. And um, hey, can you make sure that that I'm that you can see? Um, so my name is Amy Miller. If you're new to our our channel, our YouTube channel, or if you're watching on our Facebook page. I am a crunchy mom, a researcher of all things natural for a little over a decade. And together with my husband, we make homemade kombucha. Yes. Um, so we're advocating wellness in all areas of our lives. And as we're learning, we invite you to come alongside us. Um, this is Free Friday. This is our weekly series on Fridays to address ways that we can live life more fully, more abundantly, and bonus if we can do this naturally. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what is turmeric extract, this little bright yellow um, kind of orangey extract powder, and how does it benefit you? And what is turmeric essential oil, and how does it differ, and what does all this mean to us, and, and some, and I'll even share a few testimonials if we have time. So, but today we're going to be free from pain. We're going to be hashtag free from the inability to learn. We're going to be free to have relief and free to be well. Yes. I'm going to bend this down here a little bit, see if this helps. Um, okay. Can you guys see me okay? Okay. So, um, So a gift to those of you who are joining at the beginning, I found this very interesting article on turmeric and, um, and some research. Um, it's actually from, um, it's on PubMed. And so um, if you would like to um, have this information, just put in the comments, turmeric research, and I'll share with you that article that I found. Um, it's very interesting, but I'm curious how many of you, whether you're watching live or on the replay, how many of you know about, or you take turmeric extract or powder in some form and why do you take it? Um, I'm curious, type in the comments because I talk to people all the time since I'm in the business of health and wellness. We talk to people all the time across the country who um, talk about taking turmeric extract for a variety of reasons. And so I would love to hear how many of you take it and what do you take it for? Um, I, I have, um, I have heard some taking it for, um, um, for head tension, for, um, reoccurring head tension that they use to help, um, offset that. Um, I have people that take it just for overall health and inflammation. Um, so I, we've heard lots of different reasons. So I want to hear about why you take it. So turmeric extract is from the root. If you've ever seen turmeric, like at the grocery store, it looks a little bit like ginger root, but it's a little bit um, bigger usually. Um, but it's from a root and um, um, the botanical, the root itself is broken down into three different parts. Um, it has curcuminoids, tumorones, and then a lot of other stuff like water, protein, carbs, minerals, fiber, all those kinds of things. So there's the main components are curcuminoids, tumorones, and then all the other stuff. Okay. Um, and the chemistry that, um, that people are mostly after is curcuminoids and tumorones. So I don't know if you knew that, that when you're taking your turmeric extract, you are, that's what you're seeking after. That's so beneficial to your body, because when you take a turmeric supplement, um, an extract of some kind, then, um, it, it honestly, it has some poor absorption. And so it means kind of a faster elimination. Okay. That's one of ours. Okay. I have a little boy who's hurt. So daddy's going to go get him. Don't worry. Somebody's going to take care of him. And then mama's going to love on him. Um, okay. So most times um, now um, turmeric extract is actually already in two of the supplements that um, we take on a regular basis um, with doTERRA. And you may or may not know that it's in there. But turmeric extract powder is in the alpha CRS cellular vitality complex. 
this is the complex that um, has all of the superfoods in them, like turmeric. It has boswellia, um, milk thistle, um, sesame seed, um, ginkgo bilboa, um, grape seed, um, pineapple stem, green tea leaf, pomegranate food. So this is all of your high powered antioxidants. And we know that our antioxidants help with the aging process and also help with our energy levels. And so um, this is turmeric extract is actually in the alpha CRS. It kind of makes the alpha CRS um, a little bit more of that yellow color. Um, and this is what helps with great energy levels and feeling kind of more um, younger, honestly, <laughs> younger. And, um, and so, but it's also in another supplement. It's in the deep blue polyphenol complex. You may or may not know that. That's why it has this deep um, kind of yellow orange color to it. Um, and um, the turmeric extract is in this um, along with ginger, um, pomegranate, resveratrol, frankincense, curcuminoids complex, which is from the turmeric, um, all helpful with, um, I have a friend who takes this um, for reoccurring head tension, any kind of inflammation in the body. Um, Jim and I both took this complex right after we had oral surgery to help with recovery process. So this is really helpful for the body when it's recovering and also for helpful with pain. So you can start to see what the benefits are for the turmeric extract. The problem is that, um, most of the time that, um, that they extract the turmeric, um, they're pulling out curcuminoids, okay? But the tumorones that are also in turmeric are a volatile aromatic compound. You guys heard that ter those terms before, volatile aromatic compound? That is what our essential oils are. So most of the times they do not extract that part when they're pulling out, making a turmeric extract. Um, and it's not that the tumorones aren't valuable. Um, what happens is it's just harder to pull out. And so what you end up with is a lot of curcuminoids and they're not very digestible. They're not very absorbable by the body. And so they have to be usually combined with other, other things like black pepper to be able for the body to absorb them better. So for any of you out there who take a turmeric supplement, it can be very beneficial to you, but it is, um, it's only one component of turmeric that is beneficial. Um, and so, so the bonus is that you're gonna get all the curcuminoids in this, but the negative is that you don't get any of the volatile aromatic compounds like the tumorones in this. And so this is where the essential oil comes in, okay? So um, what happens is when you actually steam distill the root of this plant, then you can pull out the tumorones and the tumorones can easily cross cell membranes. It's, that means it's easily absorbed by the body. That means the body says, yes, I can digest this. I can easily take this in. And what happens is, then you end up having increased antioxidant capacity within your body. Um, you have better cardiovascular health. It preserves brain function. It's very neuroprotective. And so, um, in fact, there was even a neurotoxicity study done with the turmeric essential oil um, trying to figure out if it would if it would actually protect those delicate cells in the central nervous system, like the dendrite cells. And what they found is that yes, it increased the activity in the dendrite, in dendritic cells. Um, and the healthy neurons um, were, um, what they were finding was a better resilience with those and a better neuronal response. And any of the stress neurons in the presence of the turmeric um, showed greater health and activity. So what that means is turmeric can help create new pathways for learning. 
this is why it's so beneficial for anyone, anyone really, but even people who are maybe struggling with the learning process or need some neuro, um, some neural support. And so how you would use this is you would use one or two drops internally for your cells and protection. Um, or for kids, you, um, you would put drops in a roller bottle along with your fractionated coconut oil. But I just take my veggie capsules and I open it up and I put a couple of drops. And I usually add some MCT oil um, as well. I'm not gonna take this one right now, but just to show you just how yellow it is, that's the turmeric. Um, <laughs> any of you know, if you've ever spilled turmeric on anything, it's, it's like so, the, the color is so powerful. In fact, we even use it sometimes when dyeing eggs or coloring different things to have a natural color. Um, you, topically, you can use this even to calm some tissue irritation. Um, you can combine it with your green mandarin, which will help with the five locks pathway. Um, really helpful for inflammation and cell health. Um, if you combine it with your yarrow palm, topically, it will help with the COX-2 pathway. And if you're just joining live, go back to the beginning where um, we talked about this um, study that I found. If you would like the research study on turmeric and this COX-2 pathway, um, just type in the comments, turmeric research, and I'll share that with you um, because it's very fascinating. Now, um, share a couple. Hey, Bethany, good to see you on here today. So I'll share a couple of things with you. Now, um, the, the herb itself, turmeric extract, the herb is a blood thinner. Now, um, I don't know a lot of details about the oil with regards to this, but um, I'm pretty sure that it's the curcumin in this that causes the, the thinning of the blood. But so you may just wanna check, do some, some of your own research um, on that. Because again, this is where it's mostly is contained of tumorones and this is mostly contained with um, curcuminoids. Both of them beneficial to the body. In fact, we take both of them, but you will find that the essential oil is more readily absorbed in the body and has completely different benefits um, to the body. So there are interactions for the curcuminoids, but I'm unclear if this is actually applies to the tumorones. Because remember that um, steam distillation, which is what happens with your essential oil, it removes those curcuminoids. And um, doTERRA's cumic turmeric is 50% tumorones. So there's no, there's no curcuminoids in it. Um, now, um, I did also find a little bit of research um, regarding healthy cells um, in breast tissues as well um, with re regards to tumorone, which is the primary compound in the essential oil. So pretty exciting stuff when, with regards to if you are seeking um, health and wellness and just taking that next level, taking that next shift um, taking the next upgrade in your health for 2019. This is a great one simple way to incorporate into your daily health habit routines. Um, and cheers to you and my instill my homemade kombucha that is fantastic. I can't get enough of it. Okay, so Pam shared with me that she was going on day three of tension in her neck from traveling and it was causing some head discomfort as well. And she was looking for some oils um, and, but it just wasn't, she was using some oils, but it wasn't enough. And her friend suggested turmeric um, and her sister-in-law rubbed it on her neck and both, she immediately said she felt the tension in her neck release. And so she said, I just, I was finally free from the discomfort I was feeling for the last few days. Um, and I was amazed by the speedy results. And you know, sometimes we see that with essential oils. Sometimes we'll have an immediate response because um, the oils are so, um, they metabolize so quickly in the body. Now, sometimes with other maybe long-term issues, it takes a while to see the benefits. Um, 
But I love the times when we can have just those immediate responses too. Um, even after six years of using my oils, I still get blown away by how God has provided those for us. Um, I have another um, friend, Jasmine, who shared that um, she deals with chronic Lyme and Bartonella. And one of the symptoms of that is that she wakes up with stiff feet in the mornings. And um, she was using the Kapiba that took kind of the edge off. But she said since she started adding turmeric along with pink pepper and yarrow, she said she's like waking up in the morning and actually, she actually said she got up in the morning and walked right into the kitchen and then realized when she got into the kitchen, wait, I didn't have any stiff feet. I was able to just get up and walk into the kitchen. So she said she really starts to note a difference too when she's missed it after two or three days. So so comment below. I want to hear from you about your thoughts and your feedback on this turmeric, turmeric extract versus turmeric essential oil. And now it's time to take action. Um, so if you aren't already taking turmeric extract or turmeric essential oil, I want you to put in the comments below, um, you know, I'm going to start taking turmeric extract for my body to up level my wellness this year, or I'm going to start taking turmeric essential oil, or I'm going to start taking both. <laughs> Maybe you're taking both. Um, but next week, we're going to be talking about these daily health habits that can make a long lasting impact on your overall health and well being. Um, and to be honest, you deserve to live a life more fully and more abundantly. Um, by utilizing the things that God has given us on this earth to help us do that, to help us sleep better, to help us have more energy, feel more rested, uh, to feel more um, satiated, to feel um, less pain, to have more energy. I think I already said that. Maybe I have too, a little too much energy today. Kombucha also provides that. Um, so we're going to launch a daily health habits challenge starting next week. So I'm thankful you guys all joined us. Um, we'll see you guys back here again next week. Bye-bye, everybody.